Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of, I don't want to say Halloween shopping because I'm not there yet, but just going to see what they have for Halloween. Maybe I get some things, maybe I don't. I like decorating for all the seasons, but my main season is Christmas, December. Y'all know that's my month, you know, Sagittarius in the building. We're going to stop at TJ Maxx first because that's like the only store that I worry people might get the goodies from. Now, I know I'm definitely going to get some candles from Bath & Body Works, so that's where we're going to go next. I was just looking at body scrubs and some pumpkin stuff i saw this warm apple cider from dw candles guys have you ever used dw candles i actually really like them um i feel like they're a little pricey but so is bath and body Works. so i mean pick your poison um and then i was also looking at these other soaps i don't really get anything from this area i wanted to show you guys because i know some of you guys may be interested but you know i have eczema so unfortunately i can't use anything scented not even on my hands because i'll break out but i'm always tempted to even the scrubs i get so sad but anyways look at these mugs oh my god y'all know i gotta stop at the mugs hopefully we find something new and hopefully i leave with no mugs that's always my thing when i go to tj maxx's gosh please let me not leave with a mug but these frankenstein mugs were super cute and tempting and there were very like this one the checkered ones these patterns i'm i'm really feeling these so i almost grabbed that green one i was really tempted but i didn't at first glance i don't know what this was i guess it's a purse i'm honestly still not convinced i guess a clutch but i wanted to show it even though it's not halloween or fall i just thought it was very different something unique now i'm smelling the candles guys so the way i do candles and you guys will see at the end of the video my kind of scents i'm more of like a warm i don't like citrusy smells i like eucalyptus clean house smells those are my kind of go-to candles anything that has flavor like chocolate candle cherry candle i don't know i'm just uh, i'm not a big fan of those because i don't want my house to smell like chocolate otherwise what am i gonna do eat the candle like no <laughs> i want something peaceful that's why i like eucalyptus peep this mat oh my god i was tempted to get it that's uh mickey it's very cute i was really tempted to get it but uh i have too many mats for my outdoor area so so I'll pass on that, but definitely a good find. One thing that I'm noticing with all the stores, not just TJ Maxx, is that I feel like they jump straight to Halloween and where's the fall? I don't know. When I think of fall, I think of warm, I think of autumn, I think of leaves, cozy. They go straight for Halloween, all these uh, spooky stuff. Like, I don't know. They move so quick. And then I know that some stores are even putting out Christmas stuff. Like, what? time just flies i'm telling you guys it was just january okay we're almost in 2024 can you guys believe that basically <laughs> basically they rush it so quick can't even live in the moment now i put this in the cart because i wanted to get it but you guys will see up ahead that i ended up putting it back because of the price 24 dollars it was cute but it was not that cute i'm sorry the way the economy is going uh uh 24 dollars for that uh -uh. i'd rather save it on my <laughs> on my eggs milk and bread <sighs> but that's another topic for another day okay we're here for the spooky stuff peep that mug i almost got that mug um i also saw a spider mug um, you know talking about my little puppy spider. So I want to definitely get a spider mug. I did almost get this uh, 
one mug that I saw, but I don't think I showed it on this video. Now, these salt and pepper shakers of Jack, ooh, very tempting. Now, I already have salt and pepper shakers. I think I have two spooky salt and pepper shakers, so definitely need to stop. Stop hoarding stuff. If anything, I need to get rid of more stuff, but this year, I'm definitely proud of myself with the way that I've been decorating the apartment. I don't think it's very cluttered at all. I would say it's minimalistic and I really love that. I don't want to buy too much this year for Halloween. I just don't. Again, with the prices being outrageous, ugh, better put that money towards your food. You know what I'm saying? So, but definitely lots of cute finds. But let me know what you think. Am I tripping or do, the, do you think that they're jumping straight to Halloween and not really taking in the fall? Because the fall is a different vibe. You know what I mean? Guys, if you have the Bath & Body Works app, make sure you check it. Not on the daily, but on the weekly. If you want to definitely get it on those good deals. Because I went into Bath & Body Works the other day and I had a reward. And it expires by the end of this month. And if I would have never checked, I would have never known. So make sure you check that also in your mail. Sometimes I get Bath & Body Works mail. And it'll have coupons there as well. I got one in the mail actually for a free, like a little lotion. And it's not much, but I mean, it's something is better, better than nothing, you know? And this year for Halloween, they have a lot of cute stuff. Do I say they're outdoing last year? No. I feel like every year, the detail on the candle holders at least, I feel like, eh, they just... I don't know it's like they do so well with like one candle holder and then the rest is like eh, i don't know and then for the price uh i don't know this one definitely was nice i like the snake on top that was creative i really would like to see more of that coming even towards christmas that would be nice but even then i did like some of them and i did point i will point them out later on in the video but they're just really steep I know in the past I was reckless and I went and bought a $80 candle holder, but no longer. No longer will I do that. It's outrageous. Honestly, I regret paying that much. Definitely, if you guys want to get a candle holder, I know that can be very expensive. What I would recommend you do is wait for the end of that season. So like for Halloween, wait for it to be like the end of whatever they're doing the sale for that one they're trying to put in the christmas decor and then you can definitely score a more affordable candle holder or wall plug whatever it is because even the wall plugs guys oh my god that's why i don't have any wall plugs they're just outrageous and then the sales whenever they have them is only for the stuff that nobody wants i don't know if anybody has realized but i have these are the ones that I liked, the ones that I just pointed out. I really like that gold clock, but $80? It, I'll pass. It's not never that serious. If I was rich, I guess maybe, but I'm not. So these are nice, but nothing that's... Uh, now this castle though, remember last year I was looking for that tree? I really wish they, br they brought back that tree because I really wanted that tree. But I can't remember how much the tree was. Was it 80 or was it more? I don't know. But I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe that candle holder house, the spooky house, let's call it haunted house, I believe that's $200, I think. Don't quote me on that though. Uh, we'll have to see online later and see if I remember to tell you guys what the actual price is. But it's a lot of money. It's nice. But again, 
just to have it out for two months and if i'm gonna splurge on something like this i need it to be out all year round for that price to be honest below and Ulta were not included in the plan but we're adding it just because why not okay the more stores the merrier you mean bread and butterflies oh yes of course it hmm? Okay, even though Five Below didn't have any Halloween stuff, I didn't want to show you guys anyways, because why not? But the next week after that, they did have Halloween. All right, y'all, last stop for today is Big Lots. But right now, I'm just in the parking lot waiting for Ty, because he said he wanted to pull up and shop with me, so. Now, honestly, I love Big Lots, because for one, not a lot of people make videos about Big Lots, but I honestly think they have a lot of hidden gems, a lot of cute decor for, I, I don't want to say a very good price, but reasonable. Ten dollars. That's crazy. That's still cute though. Big 
Big Lots, it was kind of the same thing as Five Below, although as you guys can see, Big Lots did have a little section at by the checkout area where you could kind of see what they're starting to put out, but uh, they're not all the way there yet, but once they are, we are definitely coming back because that's where I got my spooky broom. If you guys remember that video, if you know, you know. All right, y'all, finally made it home. I want to show you guys what I got from all the stores. Now, of course, the first thing I did when I got home was change into some comfy clothes because I don't know about y'all, but wearing tight clothes as you get older, it's just, I don't know. Now I'm kind of like, mm, I want loose clothes. From Bath and Body Works, I only got two candles. Listen, rent just got paid and I'm not trying to break the bank. If it was any other week, maybe. So I got Sweather Weather. It's such a homey yet cozy smell you guys have to try it i'm more into like mm, like i like eucalyptus just warm relaxing smells you know i don't like anything strong i don't like scents that smell like foods or lemon i don't like this surprisingly i actually like this one this one's called white pumpkin i get this one as well every year around the fall time and this one is more definitely a fall smell. Like it says, white pumpkin. It doesn't smell, well, yes, it does smell very pumpkin-y, but very elegant. That's the way I can put it. It smells like an elegant pumpkin. Something that you would want to burn in your house, you know? Smell it. Oh, oh. It smells good, I know, I know. Before I forget, they're also doing $10 off of these. So originally they cost $26.95 and then take ten dollars off and then they were also doing five wallflower refills for 27 dollars i believe i got this stress relief eucalyptus plus spearmint i got that one and then i got this mahogany teak wood teak wood now i also love mahogany teak wood as a candle has to be my top 10 for sure i don't know why the camera never wants to focus and then i got laundry day I was contemplating on getting the laundry day the candle because laundry day is let me tell you guys laundry day is strong when you think about laundry day think about the smells of laundry times 10 it is so intense but in such a good way one thing that i do recommend whenever you like laundry day i don't leave it on for long because let me tell you it's strong i think that's probably one of the most powerful candles that they have another one that i got is leaves leaves is another seasonal scent as the name implies leaves it's just a fall smell but mm, how do i describe leaves it doesn't really smell like leaves but kind of like that aroma that you smell when the leaves fall down in the fall i <laughs> i can't explain it you guys you have to you have to go and smell it okay you have to go and smell it it smells really good last but not least i got sun drenched linen i would say it's kind of like laundry day Minus the intensity is definitely less intense, but you will still know the sun drenched lining is in the room. This is what sun drenched lining looks like. Make sure next time you're in stores to check out all the smells that I mentioned. Let me know which ones are you guys' favorite smells from Bath and Body Works and which ones do you think you may want to try from the ones I mentioned. Also, if you guys have any recommendations for any smells that you think I might like, leave them down below and I will definitely give that a smell and let y'all know. Next, we're gonna do Ulta. I know I didn't film an Ulta, but I mean, I was gonna film if there was any Halloween decor. I mean, if there was any Halloween makeup, but there wasn't even any Halloween makeup at all, so. But I figure why not mention it since that is one of the stores that I went to. I restocked up on my e.l.f. brow pencil liner. This is what I use for my eyebrows. This baby right here, it is the e.l.f. ultra precise brow pencil in the shade neutral brown. Then I got my favorite mascara. I know you guys have heard me talk about this mascara over and over and over again. At this point, L'Oreal just needs to sponsor me. You guys know I love black or black is black. Another brand that should sponsor me is Essence. I love their little lip glosses. Very affordable and effective. And it smells good. Not fruity. Or kind of just like that. I don't know how to explain it. I can't put my finger on it. I don't want to say Vaseline or... Vaporu, but something in the midst of that. So this one's called Sweet Dreams, and this one's called Pretty in Pink. I love Pretty in Pink. Don't ever, 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 
ever go to Ulta without typing up on Google Ulta coupon. They always have a coupon. Always. Now just make sure that whatever you are about to pay is $15 or more. And that way you can get $3.50 off, I believe. It's there, okay? I'm trying to help you save some coin. Now from Five Below, this one's going to be a fun project. Um, I'll do this coming up sometime soon. About these acrylic paints, you get 30. These are all the colors that you get. I feel like that's a good deal for $5. I was like, uh, should I get two? How am I going to paint on my candle without some brushes? So, bam, you get a lot of options. And for $5, you get these 25 mixed media paint brushes. And it says you're going to use it for acrylics and watercolors. So whichever paint you decide to use, you're safe with these brushes. So say goodbye to Michaels and go to Five Below. <laughs> Last but not least, we got the big, big, I can't even fit it in the frame. We got the big Canva. This is a 24 by 30 inch. And then if you want to know the centimeters, eh, that's doing too much. It is 24 by 30 inches. Okay, that's all you need to know. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to buy a Canva from Michaels or any of these crafty stores, but the prices, Hobby Lobby, $40. Michaels, $25. This is the biggest Canva that I've seen in store. But if you guys have seen any bigger ones, let me know. I don't know when and what day this happened, but Five Below they stepped up their game. They are coming hard. They're coming for it all, okay? And yeah, you guys, that is all I got for today's shop with me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Most of all, tell your tia, your abuela, tell your auntie, tell everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.